Welcome to today's episode of the Mindset Mentor Podcast. I'm your host, Rob Dial. If you have not yet done so, hit that subscribe button so that you never miss another podcast episode. And if you're out there and you love this podcast, please do me a favor, give us a rating and review however you listen to us. The more positive rating and reviews that we get, the more that these platforms like Spotify and Apple Podcasts actually show this to people who have never listened to it before. So if you would give us a rating and review, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Today, we're going to be talking about my number one goal for 2023. Okay. My number one goal is it's been this, this has been my number one goal for 2021 for 2022. It's also going to be my number one goal for 2023. I'm going to live every day of this next year as if I'm dying on December 31st. I'm going to pretend I'm not going to actually, you know, hopefully not die, but I'm going to pretend like 2024 does not exist. It will not, it might exist for other people, but it's not going to exist for me. I'm going to act like this is the very last year that I'm alive. There is nothing after it. He gone after this. I'm going to act like 2023 is the last year. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to act like December 31st, 2023 is the last year I'm going to be alive. I did this in 2021, 2022. Now I'm going to do it in 2023. Because when you're going to die, you don't do stuff that you don't want to do. Like if you knew this next year was the last year of your life, what would you do? Would you go into that shitty job that you hate so much or would you figure out another way to make money like if if i'm a if you're a, a father right and you know oh my god i'm going to be dying at the end of this year and you know that you have a family you've got two kids you've got a wife would you go into that job that you hate and spend the majority of the waking hours of the next year of your life doing that or would you figure out a way not go rob any banks or anything like that to cash in over the next year to make sure that you set your family up correctly would you, do, would you stop spending your money on stupid stuff that you don't need? Would you make sure that you set them up? Would you make sure that you spend as much time with them as possible and be able to create the life that you want to over the next year with them? Your life, your, your lens of the world shifts when you think, I'm going to die. You would not do anything that is not a full fuck yes, right? As I always say, if it's not a fuck yes, it's a fuck no. You would go through your day and say, what is a full fuck yes? Is this job a full fuck yes? No. All right. I need to get out of it as soon as possible and find another way to make money and to not just make money, but to make more money with my time so that I can help them out and make sure that they're set when I do leave. You know, think about everything that you do. Track every day. Just take, take one week where you take a, a journal with you throughout the entire week. Get a little teeny tiny journal that fits in your back pocket. And I want you to write down everything that you do. I want you to write down your morning routine. Is your morning routine a fuck yes? If not, change it. Is your breakfast? Is your route to work? Is the car you drive? Is your job? Is the people in your life? Your coworkers? Your lunch? Your drive home? Your evening routines? The time you go to bed? The stuff that you do? Is all of that a fuck yes? And if it's not a full fuck yes, then it's a fuck no. You've got to get rid of it. You've got to make a change. If you go through your life with the lens of this is my last year on life, what would you be doing differently? Really like grab out a pen and paper and say, hey, if 2023 was the last year that I was alive and I was going to die on December 31st, 2023, what would I do over the next 12 months? What would I do differently this year than I did last year? Let's look back and look forward. So let's look back on 2023. And let's look back in, let's look forward into 2023 and keep what we want to keep, change what we want to change. Because we go through life. I was listening, I was listening to a podcast episode last night. It was actually Steve-O, if you guys remember Steve-O from Jackass. And he was saying, not enough people think about the fact they're going to die. And because of that, they just end up living mediocre lives where they don't do what they want to. They don't create what they want to. They don't love the way that they want to. They don't travel the way that they want to. And they don't think about death enough. And I agree with them. I remember having this conversation with my mom years ago. And I was and she, I was like, hey, how often do you think about death? And she's like, I don't know, maybe a couple times a month. She's like, how often do you think about death? I was like, maybe five to 10 times a day. And she's like, what? And I was like, not that I want to kill myself. That's not what I think about at all. But it's like, I'm very aware of the impending doom that's going to be coming one day. And uh, that's, you know, stoic philosophy. They say, you know, think about death. Remember that you're going to die. Because that, that knowing that we're going to die is what is actually going to make you change your life, is going to make you actually change the way that you feel in the moment. And you start thinking about things, you're like, ah, it's really not that big of a deal. Ah, uh, no big deal. It's, 
I don't want to be. And then you start thinking about your life. You're like, I'm going to die. Is this how I want to spend my life at this job? Is this how I want to spend my life in this relationship? Is this how I want to spend my life doing this for money? Is this what I want to spend my life not traveling or whatever it is that you want? And you start to look at life through a completely different lens. You look at your job, your relationship, your friendships, everything through a completely different lens. Like, what are you doing that you don't want to do? And then why are you doing it? Write it all down. Track everything. What are you doing that you don't want to do? And then what are you not doing that you want to do? You know, like if I look, if I look at, at what I do now, would I do the exact same things if this was the last year that I was alive? Yes. Like if, if I had a year left to live, I feel like I've got a lot of knowledge in my mind that helps people. This is why I originally started the podcast because I felt obligated to teach it because I had traumas that happened to me in my childhood and through personal development, through self-exploration and through everything that I've done, I feel like I've overcome a lot of my traumas by by growing myself and so i felt obligated to teach this to other people so would i be doing the exact same thing i'm doing now hell yes because i want to leave some form of a legacy where it's like hey even when i'm gone these podcasts will still exist the youtube videos will still exist all of that stuff will still exist on the internet until the internet disappears or until things change and so i would still feel like i'm doing something good even after the time that i'm here so for some of you guys you might be like man actually i would start a podcast because there is these things that I want to help people with and change and shift in my life. And so maybe that is something for you. I remember one of my good friends uh, was talking about the legacy he wants to leave. And he didn't have any kids at the time. And he was talking about how he wants to leave a really good legacy. And he was talking about how he, he wanted to start a podcast. This is probably about four years ago. And I was like, okay, we'll start a podcast. A year later, he's like, oh, I still want to start a podcast. A year later, he's like, I still want to start a podcast. I was like, dude, it's been two years. You've been telling me you want to start a podcast. Why aren't you starting a podcast? He's like, oh, I don't have time to do it. I was like, hey, if your wife was pregnant right now and you knew you had a son that was going to be born, but he was not going to ever meet you, like maybe something happened before with, with you, like you died before she gave birth to him, what would you do differently? Like, would you create a podcast? And have that be the way that he learns who you were and actually be able to find the lessons of life that you've learned throughout your life. And he's like, oh yeah, hell yeah. If I, if, if she was pregnant and I knew that I was not going to ever meet him because I was going to die before, I would create so many podcast episodes and it would be life lessons and how I deal with this and just like tips and tricks. So he would be able to listen to them and to learn from it. And I was like, so what are you doing? Why do you just continue to keep not giving the world your knowledge? Because he's a super smart guy. He's been through things and he can really help people. And it really woke him up. And he started a podcast after it where he's just like, oh my God, like I do have stuff that I want to bring to the world. I do want to bring my knowledge out. And that would be a legacy that I could leave. I'm like, do it. So maybe you, if, you know, what would you be, what are you not doing now that you would want to be doing? Maybe it's creating a podcast. Maybe it's travel to certain places. Maybe it's create your own job. Maybe it's develop relationships the way that you truly want to. Instead of focusing so much on business, maybe it's like, hey, I'm going to focus more on my family. I'm going to focus more on my relationships, right? And so what you want to do is you want to look at that and remove everything in your life that is just not a full fuck yes. Anything that's just like, meh, it's okay. You got to remove and then say, okay, now that I've got free, more free time, because I'm removing a lot of stuff that's not a hell yes for me, what do I want to put in there? So what am I doing now that I don't want to be doing? And what am I not doing that I want to be doing? And you start to actually build a life that you want because you do get one life. Hey, I'm, I'm in my, my studio recording this podcast. There's a chance I could go home and I could be you know, hit by a car on the way home. It's a full on chance that that could happen. Why would I not do anything that doesn't light me up? Like I've never understood that. I've never understood why people, and the reason why I can say this is because I remember when I was 15 years old and my father passed away and I remember, not to get too graphic, but I remember walking into the room of the actual place before you know the wake, before everybody came in to, to, to see him and all this stuff. And I remember seeing him and it was, it was like myself, my mom, my sister, my grandmother, which was his mom. And I think that was it. I think it was just the four or five of us that were in this room. And I remember looking at his, his dead body and being like, he didn't do everything he wanted to do. 
My dad was a dreamer. He was a person who, you know, he passed away when he was 49 years old. He was a dreamer. He wanted to do things. He talked about how he wanted to do things, but he didn't. And I, and nothing against him, but I remember looking at him and being like, that's not going to be my life. Like I will not get to the end and, and not, I want my last breath to be like, oh man, you fucking did it. Like you made this life amazing. Like, that's what I want my last breath to be like, not regret. So I remember being there and looking at his body and being like, that won't be me. I won't get to the end of my life and wish that I would have done more. I won't get to the end of my life and wish I would have done something different. Like I'm going to fucking live this one fully. And so I've never really understood why people just go through life as if they're not going to die. Like I don't get why people go through life and not do what they want to do or work a job that they hate. Like, I understand if you hate your job and you're paying the bills for your family, you've got to pay the bills, but you don't have to be there forever. Like you could come up with a transition plan to transition over the next two years to do something different, to figure out a way to like, there's no excuse for people. There's a way to, there's millions of ways to make money online. Figure it out. Do what you want to do. We live in the best time to be alive. Like you can make money and travel the world and be with your family and spend more time with your your spouse and more time with your children and all of that but it takes your time and attention to create that life and so what i really want to wake you up to is if this was the last year of your life and you knew it was going to be ending december 31st 2023 what would you do differently that's what i want you to do and create that form of life that's how i'm going to live my life over this year that's how i want you to live your life this year as well so that's what I got for you for today's episode. If you love this episode, please share it on Instagram stories and tag me in it. And if you're listening to this before the end of the year, before January 1st, 2023, and you want to make it the best year of your life, I have a 31 day challenge that I am running with hundreds of other people. If you want to join it or learn more about it, go to limitless31.com. Uh, there's going to be seven simple but powerful habits that you have to hit every single day for 31 days straight. I'm going to be giving you live daily coaching inside of a private group uh, where you can ask me questions and we can dive in and, and really create the best month that we possibly can to help you create the best year and get a lot of momentum. I'm going to be giving you guided meditation audios. Uh, and I'm also going to be giving you daily journaling questions to help you journal and try to start to figure out who you want to be and what you want to create this year. So if you want to get massive amounts of momentum into your 2023 and hit your New Year's resolutions goals, go to limitless31.com right now. Once again, limitless 3131.com and uh, check it out. If it's for you, would love to see you in there and love to see that beautiful face inside of our group. But with that, I'm going to leave you the same way I leave you every single episode. Make it your mission to make someone else's day better. I appreciate you and I hope that you have an amazing day.